So I just wanted to do a quick video on one of the coolest pens ever made, the Lamy Unic. Uh, this is a fairly rare pen that Lamy made for a few years. Uh, comes in or came in titanium, black, and stainless steel. This is stainless steel version. Uh, they're pretty rare and uh, they're not particularly well documented. So I figured I had access to this pen. So I do a quick video. So if anyone does become interested in them, they have something to review. So here's the standard design of the ballpoint. The pen is also available in a fountain pen. And the two look similar but obviously the fountain pen does not have the, the push button at the top. This ballpoint uh, is largely known because it uses a retractable tip. So you could see the tip is not extended right now. If I wanted to use the pen to do some writing perhaps, I could go ahead and push it out and it clicks. So here's the action from the side, goes out, then the cartridge exposed is exposed, and so here's it with on its own. I will click it out, and put it back. The Unic has a uh, metal body, it has a grip section that is all metal and it uses this really low key, low profile grip. It's plastic at the end, but it's really hard to even notice that piece. It's a steel clip that you can see the spring mechanism is in the back and the clip itself doesn't spring. It's really that spring in the back being pushed, which is very cool. It has this very straight period design, uh, which I like a lot. The, uh, the button is metal with a plastic tip at the end, which is quite nice. And then let's just open it up and see what's inside. It comes apart very easily, all metal. No spring or anything like that. The spring mechanism is built in so it doesn't fall out when you're changing the cartridge. And then here is that uh, Lamy M16 cartridge. Uh, this is actually the worst part about the pen. Uh, this M16 cartridge is actually quite weak. So uh, I would definitely say if you're thinking about spending a lot of money on this pen, uh, you have to take into consideration that it uses this not so great ballpoint. Uh, there are some replacements available, including one from Monte Verdi, uh, which sells for about $3. So if you uh, do like the pen, then you can get that alternative cartridge and actually make this into a reasonably good writing instrument. Like I said, the pens are fairly rare, so uh, you have to hunt them down for a while or throw some money at the problem, depending on however inclined you are or how much you feel like you need it. And just for a size comparison, let me see what I have available. Here's a Sharpie. And here's a Pilot G2. So the, uh, the, the Unic has this slim design, so it actually looks really long, but once you actually measure it out, it's not particularly long. Here's it with the tip exposed. I'll line up the ends there. So yeah, it's longer than a G2 or a Sharpie, but it's not a particularly long pen. Just from an aesthetic standpoint, I feel like it looks kind of drawn out and really long, even though it's not super huge. Uh, I don't have the fountain pen, uh, but it is very similar in design, but the fountain pen has a cap. So the, uh, the cap comes off of the front and it has a uh, kind of plain looking nib. I don't think the fountain pen is quite as sharp or uh, quite as iconic as this ballpoint. So yeah, that is the Lamy Unic, U-N-I-C ballpoint pen. Thanks for watching.